Hello everyone. Um, being here. Um, before I start off the vlog today, uh, right now I'm just driving. You can see I'm driving the Honda. Um, I noticed something the other last week after the end of the video when I just put on the tires. Uh, the whole car shakes. So, um, basically, the wheel needs to be rebalanced again because I'm not too sure how long the 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 tire sat or if it was untouched or probably the wheel wells disappear. So that's why I'm going to be at the shop right now and need to rebalance the the tires. Yeah. If your steering wheel is shaking uh, when you're driving at higher speeds, the wheel uh, the balancing is uneven. So that's why uh, I gotta do it in the shop. So yeah, um, I'll see you in a bit. This video is brought to you by Michael's Automotive Service. We guarantee you a smile each time you come by. Right now, and I'm about to put the on the fit into the hoist. Um, I need to get the wheels out and get that rebalance again. And just to let you know if you have any symptoms while you're driving past 80 plus kilometers the car starts to shake um that is due to your uh the wheel balance of the tire is not correct and so if your car is really shaking uh, go to a tire shop and get rebalanced or else you'll get more damage on your suspension components as in tie rods, sway bar, uh, sway bar linkage, um, sway, bar, sway bar bushing, steering, your inner and outer tie rods. Yeah, so once those uh, are not working properly, uh, it's gonna cost a lot to repair. Um, right now, if, you've, like, if you feel something's vibrating, on your uh, vehicle just get a wheel back uh do a wheel balance or else you're gonna pay like arm and a limb to get all that suspension or all the components repaired because they, they do add up because once you replace the outer tie rod you're going to need a wheel alignment and wheel alignment is pretty tricky but yeah anyways i need to get this car up in the hoist so and then I'll show you what about wheel balances so this is a tire balancer and that's tire changer uh, that basically puts the the rubber onto the rim wheel and basically yeah add to the rim or uh, add the tire or remove it and this is the wheel balancer. I'll show you really quick. First, turn it on. You put the wheel in. You change the adapter. All wheels and rims basically have a center on it all different sizes so just basically it holds it in place and makes the center Basically, 
we have to do a couple of measurements on it. Program it on, program it into the program into the the machine. Program it with the whatever real wheel weights are on it, and then I'll add some more. So it's really off right now. So one is on 15 on the the inner, and 55 on the outer. So I'm gonna do this really quick and try to get it close to zero as possible. And yeah, that's basically about wheel balancing. It just takes. It just takes time to get the uh, wheel to perfectly balance to zero. So I just changed the wheel weights on it, took the old one out and put a, a brand new one. So I'm gonna rebalance it again. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. We got a perfect zero. So basically, the wheel is perfectly level and it's completely, it'll turn perfectly smoother. Okay. Okay, so I got the wheels on and I'll wait until I test drive it. I'll do that in the future episode if it needs a uh, alignment again or uh, if I needs a, a balancing again but it looks fine but let's talk about wheels for a bit here these are uh, aftermarket wheels and they do have a purpose than the OEM wheels, the aluminum alloy wheels. Basically, the alloy wheels are designed for their vehicle, but there's a huge butt on it. These are 15s, the factory came with 16s. I'll show you really quick what the specs are. If you don't know the specs of the OEM, what came from factory, it's on your door, door, door sill, right there, it says 185.55 R16s. And these are, I think, I believe, 185.60 R15s. So, the previous video, I talked about the, uh, the series, so, 16s are thicker thicker series like thinner walls or thicker walls it's 15s you have thicker thicker walls and the 16s you got uh, 65 so the reason being is I wanted a thicker series is the comfort of the vehicle it, it's the comfort so if you got a bigger series it's thicker, you get better comfort for it. If you get thinner, you get better handling. Right? You getting me? Comfort. If you want better handling, you have to go, you, you can go a little bit thinner. And also 15s, they're a little bit lighter than 16s when you accelerate. There's a pro and a con all the time with vehicles or with tires. And if you decide to go uh, aftermarket, you test fit it always on the front because of the, the caliper right there. Not the rotor, the caliper. Because it has to have a little, it has to have a clearance 
to get that wheel spinning. So that's a quick fact. If you ah, so um, we're talking about uh, briefly about tires. I got a question here from Brandon. How do you tell when your tire needs to be changed? Well, Brandon, there's a indicator on thread. This is where it looks your uh, when you look at your tire thread. There's indicator right in the thread. See when the thread is going low, if it touches the indicator, that means the the tire is already worn out, or down the road you need to change the tire. So just keep an eye on these indicators. They're all over. They're all over the tire here too. They're inside the the inside the thread. Just keep an eye on that. That's how you, what you look at. So once it's the the thread, you see the thread. That's pretty much when uh, indicating that your you need to change your tire or rotate them. Depends on uh, what your circumstances is. And also, if you don't change your tire. Or uh, you'll see this stainless this steel mark on the tire thread. So if you see that, um, that's unsafe because the tires will explode once these uh, steel threads separate because that's pretty much holds the, the air in the tire. So that's a little bit of camberware. camberware. I'll talk about it in this suspension and steering in a future episode so that's why i just want to tell you mention to you if you see that or in the you take it to your car to a shop um just be careful because uh, sometimes we won't release any we won't release any vehicle in this circumstances because um if something happened down the road the tire um exploded for example it's on us because we are the one who inspected the vehicle and make sure that um, it's roadworthy. So a lot of people don't know about, um, I'm not aware about that. So if you see this thread, uh, change the tire right away before you take it to the shop. Anyways, uh, I'm going to wrap up today's video. Um, I got to do more uh, stuff. To my truck there's something going on with that and i want to diagnose it and yeah and then i'm just going to clean up and around the shop anyways stay fly keep moving forward peace